Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. It's been a little bit of a while, isn't it? But today is the 16th of July 2019 and I thought it was about time I made another pickup video. A pickup video I could probably made about a couple of weeks ago, but I never actually got around to doing it. So yeah, finally getting around to doing it today. It's so bloody hot today, it's like 20 degrees or 21 degrees, which is really hot for Scotland, so yeah, it's uh, I'm about to go for a walk uh, after recording this, so... Yeah, three and a half hour cliff walk. What could possibly go wrong? You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be so bloody hot up there. But anyway, um, yeah, let's get into the the pickup video, shall we? So uh, yeah, I've got six games here. So we've got um, four PS3 games, a single PS4 game, and a single Xbox 360 game. So I'm still in a little bit of a hiatus of buying games. Um, but, um, you know, still, obviously it's been a while since my last pick up video, so I've bought a few games. But I've definitely, like, cut down. You know, some of these games are, like, charity shop pickups, so... Yeah, I don't really, like, include them as, like, buying games, because they're only, like, a pound or something, so... I don't mind that, but, um, yeah, definitely cutting down, like, the eBay purchases, you know? And, um, yeah, let's get on to it, shall we? So we'll start off with the PS4 game. And, again, it's, like, a, like over a month or something... It's been a, a long time, but I completed this game, I got this game for £8, and it was the Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. God, Sleeping Dogs, man, this, oh, this game, this game is so blooming good. Like, I had this back in uh, the PS3 back in the day, and I absolutely loved it. I thought this game was absolutely tremendous. Don't have it anymore, because I wanted to get the PS4 game at some point, so, never have. Um, So you can probably see, it's a little bit, Case is a little bit battered, you know, this, like, plastic, like, sleeve thing. It is a little bit battered. A bit round about there and stuff. But, you know, over on, on there. <laughs> it's kind of, like, falling apart at the bottom there. But, um, yeah, it's really, like, scratched, the, the case. Um, see, it comes with this. It's really cool. It's like a little, like, art book thing, which is pretty damn sweet. Oh, crumbs. Uh, yeah. Oh, see? Pretty damn sweet. Some really, really cool pictures in there. Uh, especially with that one. That looks really cool. I like the blend of the, you know, the reds and blues. Really bloody awesome. Seeing blue, it's kind of more of a purple, but yeah, it's, it's really bloody cool. Uh, anything else in here? It's amazing. Some of the characters there. Snakes and stuff, pretty damn cool. Um, so in there goes, there's uh, the disc there. Uh, I think this had a, a couple of, like really like small scratches, like hard to see them. Really, you have to look at the. Yeah, you have to really look. But there's a couple of really light scratches, but again, nothing that affects gameplay. Obviously, you've got the little symbol there as well. Look, oh, really, really cool. This game was actually going to be a true crime, true crime game. I think it's like true crime, like Hong Kong, but ended up changing it to uh, Sweeping Dogs. Um, and they've never actually went anywhere from here. They've never made another Sweeping Dogs game, which is really sad, because this game was absolutely tremendous. I love this game. I love the driving, I love the, the brawling, I love the shooting. Uh, characters are amazing. Um, music's good. I like atmosphere and stuff. I like Hong Kong. It's, it's a really, really cool location, you know. I really like it. Um... Like the main character, Wei Shen, very, very likable character, badass, pretty humorous as well, so he's an amazing character, you know. So if you like the true crime games on PS2, you'll probably love this game, because it's more or less the same thing as that, like the brawling and that, it does feel really similar. Uh, I love how you can just like, you know, grab people and like shove their heads into like walls and stuff, and basically drown them in like fish tanks and stuff, it's, it's really bloody, you know, cool, there's a lot of like interaction, you know, with the environments when you're brawling, I really like that, you can like, grab somebody and like hang them on a hook thing which is pretty damn brutal so I love this game it's an amazing game guys really really like it just as good as I remembered it on the PS3 um yeah Swooping Dogs Definitive Edition £8 well spent and we'll go on to the single Xbox 360 game and then we'll go with the PS3 games to finish off um so yeah another Xbox 360 exclusive for the collection and it is Halo 3 which I managed to pick up for a pound so I thought, you know, well, it's pound, you know. Then I've exclusive for the collection. And I've got to be honest, I'm not that into this game. 
I'm really like I'm disappointed to say that because I hear like a lot of good things about Halo. I can't get into this game. This game just feels very repetitive. It just feels like wave after wave of like aliens you're like killing. It's, I don't know. I just I just can't really get into it, which is really sad. I don't know whether this game's maybe like more for like online. It becomes complete. With a really big manual there. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty heavy manual. Yeah, I mean, I don't, right, that's a woman that like, talks to you. But I don't really know much about the story here, though, so I don't know like, who she is or anything at the moment. So, yeah, I've obviously not played them in order, but... That's that, that, that actually really, really good condition, you know? Yeah, it's hard to do anything on that. So that's, that's amazing condition, guys. So yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. Maybe it's more for maybe it's more fun to like deploy it online, so maybe that's what it's more intended for. But I find like the single player campaign really boring. Like this woman stuff here. Forget game of the year, this is the game of the decade. Apparently so. But um I disagree heavily. But um yeah, Halo 3, I'm like maybe like an hour and a half into it, I'll probably go back to it, but I'm not really in a rush. So um I know, maybe I'm not in the mood for an FPS, maybe I'll I'll give it a break, you know, and, and go back to it at some point, but I don't know, I can't get into it, it's, it's very repetitive. And uh, next game we have is uh, the start of PS3 games and another chart shop pickup. Uh, my dad actually found this, uh, he was away uh, with his girlfriend somewhere and ended up getting a phone call, he was like, what's this? He's like, hey, there's some PS3 games here. I had all the other games, but this one I didn't have, and it's only really, really interesting. So for £2, I got uh, Majin and the Forsaken Kingdom, which is not a game you really see very often. But I uh, yeah, £2. I don't even know what charity shop that is. C-B-A-H, I don't, I don't know what that is. But, um, back at that. Complete. And this, I can remember, is, yeah, pretty damn good. Again, I don't think there's any, there's a little bit of dust on there, but I don't see any visible scratches. I can't get into this game. Like, I wanted to, it's, it's unique. It's a cool looking world. I mean, the graphics aren't anything like special. It's kind of like a unique kind of art style. I don't think it's like going for good graphics and stuff, but I liked it for a little while. And uh, you basically play as this boy and you rescue this monster. And uh, you basically just like going together like through these worlds and stuff, killing enemies and stuff, solving puzzles. I mean that might be one of the main downfalls for me. I'm not a big puzzle fan in games. And um, for me the puzzles in this are like, really like slow and a little bit tedious. Uh, you have to basically work together with the, the monster here to like basically uh, solve puzzles. And it's just not that great. I don't really like the combat very much. Combat feels very sluggish. Yeah, it, it's sad because I wanted to like this game. Uh, it's directed by uh, Yoshiki uh, Okamoto of uh, Resident Evil and Street Fighter fame. So yeah, I, want, I really wanted to like this game. So the world, it's a nice looking world, you know, it's a unique like, you know, art style and stuff. But I just can't get into it. I don't like the combat, I don't like the puzzles. I'm just not that into it. I gave up after like an hour and a half. I, I, I just can't be bothered with this game. I really, really can't. It's it's a shame. It really, really is, because the monster is a, like, he's a likeable character, so I really wanted to, you know, really get into, like, the characters and stuff. I think they've got, a, you know, like a pretty damn cool bond. I think they're, you know, they've got chemistry together. They work pretty damn well. Entertaining, like, dialogue and stuff. But it's just, it's just not fun to play. It's just not fun to play at all. Ugh, it's, it's annoying, guys. Very repetitive game. I just, I don't like it very much. I'm sorry. I think it's a very, it seems to be like a very like love and hate game, a lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it, it's kind of, yeah, I'm more of the hate side, I just, I can't get into it, I'm sorry. So next we go on to a game I've not played since the, the PS4 uh, version of it, uh, which I don't have anymore, I had the Handsome Jack collection, the Borderlands Handsome Jack collection, but I ended up selling that because I played through the games. And it was at a time where the games were still going for a pretty, you know, decent price. So I had to, like, sell because I didn't, you know, plan on playing it again for a little while. So, and now you can get that game for, like, £10 or something. So I definitely want to pick that up again at some point. And, you know, especially to play Borderlands 2 because that's amazing. 
Uh, this one's not as good as I remembered it. Like, I'm sure at one point I said this was my favourite Borderlands game. I, like, totally disagree now. I think this is my least favourite Borderlands game. <laughs> to be fair, I still like it, but I, it's got problems I don't even, like, remember encountering on the PS4. But, um, it is, uh, Borderlands, the pre-sequel. You know, never had this version. I always had, the uh, my first time playing this was the PS4, you know, handsome, on the, you know, handsome Jack collection. But it, it's interesting having Handsome Jack as an ally. Before he goes off the rails in Borderlands 2. He comes complete. I can probably see it's a little bit like ruffled, like the, the case. Don't know how well you can see that. It's really like ruffled. I don't know like what's happened to that. But yeah, this game was like £2.10. pence. So, yeah, you can get this game dirt cheap nowadays. You really, really can. Yeah, it's... The problem I have with this game is navigation. Sometimes you'll like be looking around for ages trying to figure out where to go because it's not that easy to like figure out on the map. Navigation really weird. I, like I said, I don't remember having this problem. I don't. I didn't have much problem with the navigation in Borderlands One or Two. I don't remember having navigation problems in this. But yeah, it's it's really difficult to navigate at times with the whole like space thing. You're constantly like using gravity to try and get to places, and sometimes it can be bumming annoying. So I never experienced that, but as for like gameplay goes, it's really, really good. You know, I do like I like the laser weapons and that. It's, it is really cool. I love the space, you know, atmosphere and stuff. It's it's awesome. Love Handsome Jack. Handsome Jack is just a tremendous character. Absolutely love that guy. Um, even in Borderlands 2, where he's a total psychopath, but it's just it's just one of those villains you can't help but like. Um, yeah, I think this game's it's okay. You know, it's not amazing. I don't think it's as good as Borderlands 1 or 2. Borderlands 2 is my favourite, and I think Borderlands 1 is still an absolute cracking game. And then I'll probably put this from the last, just because of the navigation. It is a little bit annoying, I would say. But, um, yeah, I still think this is a good game. Happy to play through it again. And, uh, yeah, Borderlands the pre-sequel. Next, we'll go on to uh, PS3 Exclusive. Now, I had the first game of this, and I don't have it anymore. I didn't like it. I thought it was, like, really, like, repetitive. Like, I didn't think it was an awful game. It was just very, very repetitive. And they got bored of it really, really quickly. But I did end up playing through it. Um, yeah, but see, it, was, it just, I don't know. It just wasn't for me. It was too repetitive. So I had a little bit of, like, doubts when going into this game. But this was £3. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. It's probably going to be more of the same, but I'm going to give it a shot. And that is Infamous 2. £12. <laughs> nah, this was uh, £3 on eBay. I just thought I'd leave the CX, CEX stickers on it just for the hell of it. Somebody paid £12 for this back in the day. And I've got to say, this game was actually a lot better than the first game. I actually kind of like this game. I think this game was quite a bit of fun to play through. And I think the disc had a one little scratch somewhere. Yeah. Well, two. Two scratches, guys. But, um, yeah, overall, still really good condition. It's three pounds, so it ain't bad. So, um, yeah, it's got a Cole McGrath again, just like the first game. I think the voice actor's different, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it did sound a little bit, like, weird at first. Just trying to get used to, like, the new, like, you know, voice actor. But uh, yeah, Cole McGrath is as badass in this game as he was the first game. I do like the you know the character of Cole McGrath. I think Zeke like his like best friend. I think he was a lot better in this game. I thought he was a little bit annoying in the first game. In this game, he definitely like he seemed like a more badass as well. And uh, I think the gameplay was like it was had more like variety. Like the missions and that had more variety. I think they're a lot more fun to do. Um, could be wrong, but I think there's more enemy types in this game as well, which did, you know, make, make it a bit more enjoyable as well. Um, so yeah, it's one of those games where you like, it's kind of like a, you're kind of like a superhero. You've got like superpowers, like lightning and stuff, and you can choose to be good or bad. And um, I actually, I went with a good guy, you know, thing. I prefer like being good guys in games. Like I always do that thing in games, like Fallout and stuff. I always be the good guy at first, and then I'll do like a second playthrough being a you know total douchebag, you know. I like doing that, so I'll probably play for this game at some point and like be the the villain. 
and see you know and see uh, what happens there because you get probably get like different dialogue and stuff. People will probably like, treat you differently and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think this game's I would say a lot better than the first game. I I didn't have like I didn't think this game was that boring say compared to the first game. I thought it was a little bit repetitive at times, but I actually, you know, had a lot more fun with this game than the first game. So, uh, yeah, Infamous 2. Love it. £3 well spent. And, uh, yeah, definitely keeping that one. Because I don't know if I'm keeping that. But, like, I think all these other games I'll probably keep. Um, even Halo. I, even I don't really like it too much, but I don't really have many exclusives for the Xbox. So, it's like the only reason it'll be staying. And we go on to the last game now. And uh, this was a game I wanted to get for a while. I was actually going to maybe just get the PS2 version, because... A lot easier to get. It's like one in like two or three pound probably. This you hardly ever see it. You usually see it for like ten pound. And, oh excuse me, but the hiccups. Um, yeah, you usually get see it for like ten pound. And I wasn't really willing to pay ten pound for it. Uh, but I seen it for six pound, and I cracked. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna see what it's all about. If I don't like it. I can get my money back. You know, I can sell it on. Maybe even make a profit. You know. But I actually really like this game. This game is actually a, a really like, fun game, in my opinion. And that is uh, the Godfather Dawn's edition. I really like that cover. Look how shiny that is, man. It's awesome. Love my shiny stuff, guys. Uh, you can see it's uh, mature. It's uh, American version. I don't know if you, you probably can get this in, like, PAL version, but I've never seen the PAL version of this. Probably get it on eBay, I would think. But yeah, I was always interested in the PS2 game, but I never actually got around to it. Because a lot of people said this was like a really, really good, you know, open world, like a, you know, a mafia kind of game. Cool. Quite a big manual there. Disc is spread down good as well. Can't complain there. But uh, yeah, The Godfather. As for the, like the movies, I've never seen The Godfather movies. or I don't know, the thought of watching them kind of like puts me off because they're like so bumming long, like, Three hours, man. Real long movies. Um, and obviously, I hear it like, like I think the first Godfather is like one of the best like movies of all time. So, which is crazy. But I, I just don't. It doesn't really like seem that appealing to me. Like I don't know. Maybe one day I'll like I'll watch it, but I have no idea. But yeah, this is a really good game because I did not like Godfather Two. I thought that game was very very repetitive, very very frustrating to play, and I kind of expected a little bit. Like, similar, like, from this. But this game's a lot different. This game is a lot more enjoyable to play. I definitely recommend this one over the second game. But like the second game, you have to, like, take enemies out in, like, certain ways. Like, kill this person by strangling them. And then if you shot them, and like, killed them in a different way without strangling them, they would, like, get sent to the hospital, and you have to wait, like, ten minutes or something before they, like, respawned to that area. That was, that was dumb. Like, who thought that was a good idea? Like, that was just, that was a stupid idea. That was very, very annoying. You know. Because you had to, like, cause you had to like, kill, like, so many like, enemies and had to, like, progress with the story and stuff. So that was dumb. I hated that. Uh, unless you can, like, kill people in like, certain ways to get, like, bonus points. But if you just kill them normally, like, kill them in any way you want, you don't get as many, like, as much money or respect. But you can still do it. You know, they don't get sent to the hospital and have to respawn at some point, so... That instantly gives this game, like, you know, a lot more enjoyability. But, uh, yeah, just a great game, guys. I love, like, extorting, like, businesses and that. It's a really woman fun. You know, taking out, like, gang, like, hideouts and things. Like, trying to like, take over, like, businesses and warehouses and stuff. It's really woman cool. Uh, I think this game's a lot of fun. Like I said, I definitely recommend this one. If you're into, like, gang wars and stuff, definitely recommend this. Um, yeah, Godfather the Dawn's edition. Really good game. So now guys, yeah, that is it for my latest pickup video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'm probably going to go very quiet again as far as like pickup videos go, because again, I'm not really like planning on like buying many things unless I see things in a charity shop, which is kind of rare nowadays. But you never know. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know what you think of any of these games. Let me know what you've been playing recently. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to do like another like games I recently completed as well. Because I'm all a bit behind on that, so that'll be the, the next thing that I'll probably do. Um, but yeah, guys, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Hope you guys are enjoying the weather, if it's if it's nice weather with you. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all in the next video. 
See you guys. Thanks for watching.